Okay, so I arrived home from the city. Um, coffee I have just purchased. Coffee, supposedly, which I did purchased earlier. It was uh, actually, excuse me, open it earlier. It was inside in there. Uh, one thing I'm going to correct about one time when the coffee inside was like there was nothing actually but it appears now that I understand why it was gray it was gray because there was nothing but fucking mold I did not throw one away I didn't even understood what exactly happened because it disappeared it disappeared it simply disappeared we would go to the store with the mother and brought this home uh, mother stated to me under MK Ultra when they give that kind of stuff that she's gonna remove one. But that's okay because today I was in the store and I recalled Peter Cups talking about coffee cups. Talking about the coffee cups, basically, this one here, this is what I learned Staffordshire, made in England. That's from Britain. What would this be doing in Slovenia? Go figure it out yourself. Um, okay, let me see. There is some other stuff like that. None really. None. None really. Um, what I want to clarify about this stuff. He talked about emulsion, emulsion. He talked about emulsion. And I started to understand the issue behind this thing here, which is a brand new, beautiful uh, coffee cup. I bought it for myself and uh, it went on my surprise, on everybody's nerve. It appears to degree that they would leak some kind of chemical inside. In this chemical, it had to do with the Russians, with this crazy Sergei. But not only him, but also other Russians that claim that this uh, is not a good quality, uh, that is just uh, stuff like this, that they're going to prove that this is not a good quality. And that there was some kind of liquid that poured inside and it hit the emulsion, the protection. And goodbye. And that was it. This was 450, I don't know, 2017 when I bought this in the store. Use it maybe, maybe not even a dozen times it was finished, whatever was done to it. Destroyed. Destroyed. Simply destroyed. He talked about that is the safest for me to drink from the glass. He was talking shit about what to drink from too. It was like surprising to me that somebody would be talking about the stuff what to drink from. So then when I was in the store and I was looking those uh, this I didn't wash. I don't wash like this. Man, when I wash this is really shining clean exemplary um so I, I couldn't understand what the hell this was all about what he was talking about why i should drink from the glass and then we're talking about 
the nail polisher, how they're going to put the nail polisher inside. And that kind of stuff that will agitate me. That kind of stupid shit. But that I should drink from this here because it's clear and it can be seen that this is why this is the safest thing to use. So it became to me apparent that idiot was talking about using possibly some sort of stuff even inside. Not that he would do this, not that they would do this stuff. But I'm analyzing the mind of Peter Kapsch. That's a psychiatrist in Novo Mesto. I am analyzing the mind of Novo Mesto police director, director of police, Slovenian police, which used to be director of Novo Mesto police and is now director of Slovenian police in Ljubljana, Janez Ogulin. I'm trying to understand what the fuck happened to these people. Where do you get this kind of shit inside of your brain? Where does this shit come in from, this kind of stuff? Where do you get this kind of ideas from? Because that's bad, crazy shit. That's what I'm trying to analyze. And I'm not grateful for being poisoned, basically, with this kind of stuff. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take what I have already opened earlier. sip some of this here on the side and we'll go like this what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare to see the difference between this I've also noticed I've also noticed that some of this are completely filled with the coffee. I noticed this in the store and some of them are like this and some of them are they only have up to here. What suggests me that hardly factory would do the stuff like this. Why have I seen stuff like this today? This is the one I purchased at the store. As you see, this is completely filled with the coffee. And we're going to see basically what the difference is. I've also noticed that some of this, some coffee is plain um, to express myself, plain Oh, this is from the store today. Coffee. Really a coffee. I don't have any objection to this. I don't think I can argue with this. And uh, here is what you have seen earlier, unless uh, it was substituted with something else. And this is fucking moldy. This is fucking moldy, man. This is moldy, but it's not as moldy as... Not anywhere near as moldy as the stuff I was talking to you about. And I stated for one earlier that I threw one away. I did, and I did not. The coffee disappeared. It was the whole thing. It disappeared. Instead... It would appear in something like this. 
I found one here stored and I I saw that stuff and that was not much after I returned myself from Poland what I did was it was in two of uh, like this it was stored and what I did was I threw that in a garbage can but where the whole thing is that thing where that thing was I have no idea that I would not know whether her mother was eventually using that stuff why was she storing this stuff here whether she was eventually using that stuff to add this to the coffee that I purchased inside of the store I cannot say because I have not seen but I can positively demonstrate to you what I have just gone through today that's all I can say basically uh, that's just my testimony this shit makes you sick I know I have a problem with my teeth I do it's oral stuff that is part of the problem too but mold was present throughout the entire pollen trip in exactly I think the same fashion as here and it was exactly the same people from Poland that would come to Slovenia and from Slovenia people people that would travel to Poland Slovak and all this shit so yeah I would say that that is as, as far as I can go and prove this case uh, people involved in MK don't drink coffee don't drink coffee don't drink coffee well why the fuck would I not drink coffee why uh, let me tell you, man, that with my problem that I have, you're fucking dead. You feel like you don't want to get up in the morning. Or you're like three quarters dead. My heartbeat is very low. Extremely low. Um, whether that will be for whatever reason, I have no clue what's going on. Uh, is it what is it i don't know a little bit more probably i wouldn't be even here um eventually the heartbeat the low heartbeat rate i think it saved my life and one day i'm gonna also tell you why uh it saved my life uh but the stuff that went on in slovenia in respect to poisoning, in respect to this shit they were doing, evaluating the food. Um, I don't actually, I don't know what to tell you about this stuff. I am, I am speechless. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. They anticipated all kinds of stuff from me. I'm going to do. I didn't even go through uh, a soap issues, a body soap issues. That's a separate video. I might actually even include in this stuff here. But it was a tremendous paranoia in respect to Candida. And if I believe that it is the soap that actually can kill me. Let me explain. That's the soap they demonstrated to me. Not this one here that you see. But in the video you're going to see, I will include that. My mother purchased a set of soap. Like this this kind of stuff it's crazy because they drove me crazy with the profumato perfume perfumato uh, chemicals that are used here uh, especially that it's oil and because it's oil that thing what will do is it will block the pores the skin pores and you have candida 
and it's not going to come out and how bad that stuff is they were teaching me on how i have to brush my skin and all kinds of crazy bad completely insane crazy shit like you possibly would not even imagine in your totally craziest dreams so my mother first purchased this year a tremendous tremendous pack of this stuff here now you see all kinds of stuff like this sodium uh, sulfate uh, and they were telling to me about this stuff it's the same like coffee it's the same like a coffee it's the same like a coffee your hand this is all hand soap here that you see all this stuff this is all for the hand every one of the soaps is for the hand it's all for the hand hand soaps hand hand everything is for the hand the same like the same like with a coffee the same like with a coffee when i was drugged up the guy was asking me you don't think that soap can kill you um i i was uh, i would i would frequently answer the questions like this you know you're you know you know we already have spoken and we came to conclusion many times before that you are insane always was my answer to these people all this all this stuff all this is for the hand all this is for the hand so that you don't believe this stuff that you don't believe this stuff that was a chief of the police ogulin all hand soap there's no body soap really body soap is a body soap that's why it says for the hand but we don't have any any soap that would be really um for the body now that kind of stuff was done because it says right there it's dermatologically tested they wanted the paranoia they wanted me to go up there on the internet and say man i'm fucking dying i am fucking dying i am fucking dying man I remember when i stated earlier to you the same like a coffee and you know what we said for the coffee yes they said for the coffee like this they said that was my sister yeah, it's the same coffee it looks the same you see it's the same coffee and i didn't understand that was she was explaining me under mk ultra the same coffee and i didn't know i didn't know you gotta try this it looks the same i don't know i already posted this stuff but it's not the same this one is the same but the coffee i am talking about is the coffee that is basically that looks just the same brand it looks the same but it does have somewhere written here it's written that it's with added chocolate uh some kind of nuts and then again a flower of the caramel and they were driving me insane under mk ultra they, they would poison me obviously with this shit obviously this shit here was also used in here to poison with this so i bet if i would go and analyze the coffee that i claimed the other day that for what americans also claimed me it's a coffee that is equal to it's the same coffee they told me but this one here with the added caramel is 500 times worse for you it will kill you it's like so fucking dangerous it's like you, you drink 500 of this coffees and these are such a strong coffees 
they will kill you. So caramel, caramel, you get the fucking idea under the brainwash. Yeah, that's disgusting. You get an idea about the brainwash. It's actually because they poison you when you are drugged up. Ah, fuck your MK Ultra. This is not MK Ultra. It's actually killing. That's actually murdering person because person is trying to avoid every poison possible, doesn't have income, is actually compelled into the world of poison. Whether he likes it or not, there is a choice. There is a assortima. These people make their own assortima. I don't have the fucking money. They wouldn't give me the money. They wouldn't give me the job for me to go and get the money. I was not even allowed to report myself to unemployment for the unemployment like other people do was threatened instead with mental health care and stuff like this psychiatry so the soap they were asking me what do you prefer what do you prefer which one do you prefer what do you prefer do you do you prefer do you prefer aroma with a caramel or do you prefer aroma with vanilla and mother made sure she made sure that she would put here inside that she would put inside here like this like they were driving me insane by fucking claiming me that the sugar you know the sugar the sugar very deadly for you very dangerous for you white one kill you the sugar so what you need to do what you need to do you need to start to buy yourself a sugar like this in a small packaging and it was the, the stuff they also played under mk also told me oh well you know uh, uh, there you go uh, what you do is you you just uh, uh, you, uh, you see this one is with the vanilla that one is with I don't know what and so on and it's packed and because it's packed uh, you have nothing to worry about that somebody uh, put uh, the poison inside that's why we prefer uh, the pack that's what we buy in a pack that's what they brainwash me so you now you're going now you're getting the taste of the paranoia next to which the real poisoning went on it was a real poisoning this shit is a real poisoning this is a real fucking poisoning. This is a real poisoning. You're going to eat malt for so long, you're going to fucking end up dead. And I'm not saying I don't have a problem with the teeth. I do have a problem, but listen to me very good. I actually doubt that any, any, any one of you guys, eventually that any one of you guys would go and would use a service from the dentist that eventually visited Belgrade. She would go to the Belgrade. The dentist I have spoken about that was involved in MK Ultra, she would also go to Belgrade. A little bit meet Serbian politicians. Serbs would come to her place here in the city of the Novo Mesto. How crazy, man. Uh, she told me explicitly was the one that did screw me up the tooth. And it was uh, another physician that used to work in Zhabiavas that destroyed me. Another tool here before he destroyed me this one here they were playing with the poison they were doing this kind of stuff the first two i went to a dentist and i pulled them out but you know what eventually they got me to every fucking dentist in the city of the novo mesto and they did threaten me you know how when you sit at the dentist and you have a chair and you have they use those it's like 
very modern stuff that you sit and then, then they have these lights and all kinds of stuff so they can do the job, so they can perform this stuff. They even threatened me that she did, that she's going to have to actually video record, video record and supply Serbs, Alexander Vucic, with a video recording of what she did to me to ensure that I would be dead. How many of you would you want to use a dental service if I took you to the city you are from? And I would take you from one dental office to the other. How many of you, for the cost of whatever, cancer or whatever, would want to go and use this kind of services? That's all I want to ask you. If I drug you up and I subject you to a torture to, to every physician, every dentist, and every dentist death threatens you, how many of you would you want to go for the cost of whatever? If you had stuff like I'm doing, how many of you would you go use their services? They had me at a general hospital here in Novo Mesto, and they told me when you're going to be that's when you're going to come to us and we're going to start to break you a jaw to get the tooth out. Well, she said to me when I came from Poland in 2020, she said to me 25 euros. And she was the one that destroyed my teeth, got her entire office, credit for the house, purchased everything. from the dental equipment, everything, through my case. You're talking about the Milan Kuchan, you're talking about Borat Pahor, she goes to Belgrade. How many of you guys eventually would go and use dental services like this? What is the guarantee eventually that the death threats that I was taught would not come through? There is injection that has to be used to uh, neutralize basically the area and so on. How many of you would you go and use this kind of dental services? Fuck that. I never was afraid of dental services. I have all the teeth repaired. I would always go to dentist. But, you know, uh, when the stuff like this happens, that's totally different circumstances, no? You can't say that I'm a coward, that something is wrong with me because I have this done when I was in Ecuador, I would go to a dentist, uh, and so you can't say that something is wrong with me. I would go on my own. I would pay out of my own pocket. Uh, did so so I could save myself money. I couldn't afford in the U.S., but I always did. But if I do, if I would do stuff like this to you, and you had the proofs that you publish and you have a case like this, and you have this kind of situation, how many of you would you go and use dental services? Come on. I'm not the one who is unreasonable. I don't actually think that something really is wrong with me. I think that something is very wrong with the psychiatrists in this case, with the police. I think they have gone too far. My mother, when she would go to the store, that's another story about the caramel. 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 You want to know about the caramel? The chocolate, the chocolate, you're going to see, it's going to be a regular one, it's going to be good one, and then it's going to be with the added, the same shit, under MK the same shit, and she did, one time she bought three different chocolates, you know, we would go to the store, the only thing that happens is she disappeared between the lines, and it might have been that the people inside of the Tush store in Novo Mesto, but it was the same shit in this Eurospin, it was the same shit everywhere else. It might have been they have given her uh, a poison and product that was packaged like this, is you package a fucking thing and you fucking glue this thing and who knows 
it says made in Germany or whatever, but no, it doesn't have to do with the Germany. And he delivered that into a, 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 into a shopping cart, it took home, I ate that. Boy, I thought I'm gonna fucking die. And I look at that, it was like, it's like really a packaging, it's like standing out. Is this kind of mucca? Uh, and uh, I thought, again, it was with some kind of aromas and shit like this. I thought, I'm gonna go fucking crazy with that stuff. I thought I'd go fucking insane. Today, I eat this. I didn't go anything insane. There was no poison. There was no shit. There was nothing. I eat other stuff. It was okay. But it was a scare. It was a paranoia. It was an attempt to use stuff eventually that was poisoned, heavily poisoned, God knows what was inside in there. Claiming me that additives, that it, if it's not natural, that, that that's not good, that, that it kills you, that in this, it's a cancer. And... Yeah, let me go back to the definition of the paranoid schizophrenia with which Slovenian psychiatry have labeled me with. And that's basically what the entire case was built upon. Eventually, no, this case was built through employment office in Slovenia, which two years prior my departure to the US demanded from me to get married to a daughter from a local Serbian here, uh, who was married to the Serbian Jozef Črtalic and his son Bojan Črtalic. That threatened me and never got the response they anticipated would get. I was in the US, hijacked from the US, never supposed to be in Europe between 95 and almost over end of 2006, that's 11 and a half years. I was repeatedly brought here and that threatened with a shit, with all kinds of stuff, if not, if not getting married like this and so on. They pledge and said it's going to be Yugoslavia, it's going to be Yugoslavia, it's going to be a great, greater Serbian Chetnik state again, and so on. And I'll look. That's what he came to. It, it didn't go, he didn't have any prospect really here. Not even with this, and believe me, with so many people involved, with so many people threatening me, dead threatening me, you're talking about the stalking, you're talking about that kind of stuff. You don't even know what stalking is. But I can tell you what is stalking. When you go to every fucking store and you recognize the people that were involved in MK Ultra, when you walk on the street and it's the people that were involved in MK Ultra, displaying the shirts, displaying all kinds of stuff, doing all kinds of things to trigger the memories on torture and on death threats. On greater Chetnik state, what will it be if you will not and this and that crazy, but crazy shit. So, I don't have anything else to say in respect to this stuff. That much about my personal opinion, even even in that packaging, the way I see it, which I don't know what it is now, even in that packaging, I think it was something that didn't have to do with the uh, with the nuts, with a roasted nut, with a chocolate, and with a flower aroma, caramel, and stuff like this. I think it was some other shit that was inside. And yeah, sure it does. It, it really looks the same. Uh, and. It was my sister that it was so sensitive. She always had, uh, she was a vegetarian, she was this, she did a really, 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 really fucked up in the head, severely fucked up in the head. 
uh, insisted on what kind of food that I should eat and what I should not eat and this and that, what you good for you, what not good for you, this and that. Boy, man, what the fuck? People like this should be behind the bars. Not teaching other people what to eat, what to drink, what to do. Coffee, what about the coffee? Coffee, this is this is a brand new that I care personally about. Dish, 30% of the milk, 70% of the water uh, with a little bit of coffee. Stop drinking one for several months, started yesterday again because of the work I'm trying to complete, because of what they have done to me with the video. I will eventually have to stop repairing the video I have created. You're going to see the video I'm going to mention to you uh, because I have to go and record a new video. It's not possible to repair one, but I have the file so the people that do work with Computers with the digital equipment could can go and examine and see whatever was done to that video of mine. I believe once I connected one to uh, transit one to computer, unfortunately, it was the internet was plugged in and I was stupid enough to delete one from uh, the telephone and it was too late. It was too late. Uh, Tough shit. I stayed several days inside the house to repair that video. Worked on repair the video from morning to dawn. From the sunrise to dawn. Maybe even one week. Uh, today is the fourth. That means fifth uh, four days five days i worked night and day to repair that video i couldn't repair one but it's always when you stay inside of the door that something is and you drink that and we go back to the theory if you will not walk if you will not exercise you will die and people from hollywood insisted me how I'm going to get fat, how I'm not going to have a muscles. You cannot have a muscles like I can have, Joseph Baena. Dwayne Rock Johnson, uh, Hollywood people. Well, yeah, because when you're poisoned, when you're experiencing blood poisoning, dental and this kind of poisoning, and you go and you exercise and you pressure yourself you do actually harm your heart your cardiovascular health that's why all those hollywood looking good in bikini doing this and look at my muscles and this and that you know uh today i saw right in front of the Kirka Pharmaceutical Company, one commercial from the postal office. It says, know your measures. What psychiatrist Peter Kops explained to me how he, they body shame me. You want to know what the fuck definition is about the body shaming, right? So I'm giving you one. Because this is where you're going to go and you're going to get fat. And you will have to change your, uh, your clothing, your pants. And you're going to upgrade. You're going to upgrade. There is another commercial right next to that one. And it also says, know your dimensions. That one is already for, uh, I don't know, maybe one month or something like this. I don't know what your company that one is. But it became obsession the co with the commercial also, Kopsch. Obse obsession of psychiatrists, club through the police also was obsessed with the idea about vault delivery of the food delivery where it would be died. 
that it bites the food like crazy and yeah somewhat looked like his son you're gonna remember right you're gonna remember he was involved in mk ultra you're gonna you're gonna remember what we told you right that's how you're gonna be that's how you're gonna be so that you go you guys talk about the body shaming and shit. you don't even know what the fucking body shaming is come on you don't know nothing about stalking you don't know nothing about body shaming really you're talking about discrimination and stuff like this inequality and you you actually have millions and in some cases billions stashed under your pillow in your banking accounts and you do so why do you do so do you do so because you think you're really unequal or do you actually feel bad about the wealth you have accumulated you're silent about how you have accumulated the debt you don't know nothing about shit you're talking about you're playing victims but at the expense of other people I'm going to stop here because I could go on and on and on, but this is, this is not good. This stuff, this is no good. This stuff, this is no good. The tunnel under the house, it's going to be a tunnel under the house. We're going to, we're going to push the gas inside of your room. It's going to be, we're going to guess you. As it was a Bharat Pahar that claimed that it's a guess. It's going to hurt your heart and shit. Directed energy weapon. It was really one time that I needed 20 minutes to get my shit together. It's difficult to tell what is it under the circumstances like this. I don't even know who is below right now or who is above right now. For a bow, I don't think it is, but for below, in this house, you can't tell shit. Anything is possible, and the real stuff did took place here. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, till next time.